Hello guys, in this video we would like to showcase you our new product called DroneTech Rider and it's a portable remote ID detector detecting any drones such as DJI, Autel, Skydio in the United States, EU and Japan to boost your situational awareness. The device itself comes in this premium packaging with the instructions on the inner side and of course full instructions set at our online documentation help.dronetech.com and uh, before you start using the device make sure it's fully charged there is a USB-C cable supplied for utilizing the full potential of the rider you will need to use DroneTech app which is available for Android, iOS and web so I will be showcasing it on my smartphone uh, make sure to register your account first and of course log in into it then uh, to register your rider with your account uh, go into my devices and in my devices tap on register device then make sure to turn on the rider uh, if there are multiple devices on the screen uh, check your serial number to see which one is the one you want to register. As long as you click on register, the app will guide you through uh, basic uh, tutorial, tutorial how to operate the device. It will allow you to do some basic configuration such as uh, sound alerts. It will help you to configure action button and will guide you through some additional features so i will just quickly skip through it and then you land on a screen with a device overview so to start the scanning process make sure all the leds on the rider are green so by default you need to have a gnss enabled and as you can see when the gnss was fixed uh, the rider itself goes automatically into scanning mode. So now we can see the rider is blinking white. That means uh, it's scanning, but no drones are being detected. So uh, I can make sure to go to the dashboard to don't see any drones on the map. If I want to test the rider for the basic functionality, I also have a DJI Mavic 3 drone, which I will be now taking off to show you the detection and also how does the rider change. So whenever I turn on the DJI drone and I take off, the rider is supposed to detect the drone, change the LEDs to blinking blue and also make a sound notification that something is being detected. So I'm now taking off with the drone. The drone has uh, now took off. The rider itself started blinking blue and in a moment we should be seeing the detection on the map. So right now you can see the real-time data from the drone. I can see the current location of the drone the serial number of the drone, the source where the information is coming from. And of course, we will be showing some additional features such as pilot position or which type of aircraft is that. As you can see, the rider is now making a sound notifications to let you know that something is flying around. Uh, by default, the action button comes with a feature which will disable those sound notifications. So if I press on the action button, the sound notifications will be quickly turned off, but you can see the device is still detecting something. I can, of course, enable the sound notifications by pressing the action button again. For checking out the previous detections, you can go to your My Detections section. You can uh, list which devices you want to preview. And of course, you can choose from which dates you are interested in those detections. And when there is a particular detection, you can go into its detail and uh, see some additional information as a serial number. You can see which aircraft was flown. And of course, you can have this type of replay 
which will help you to uh, recognize the flying patterns or whatsoever. Lastly, you can do export into a variable format such as JSON, CSV or KML. So you can import into more advanced visualization software such as Google, Google Earth. That's all from me guys. I'm excited to present you this new product and we look forward to your feedback.